Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about setting up a camera on the surveillance station on a QNAP NAS. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up motion detection, and I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist if you want to see the previous video. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the first thing I need to do is go into my camera, and I'm using an Amcrest camera, and other systems are probably going to have a similar interface. But I went down here to Event and Video Detect, and I checked this as enabled. So this will trigger the alarm that will tell the QNAP surveillance station to record video. So now I'll go to the QNAP surveillance station and set it up there. So I'm in the QNAP surveillance station software. I'm on camera over, and I've also added this garage camera. So I'm going to talk about setting up uh, motion detection on backyard. I've already set it up on garage. You want to go to camera configuration, and I'll click on backyard, and I'll click edit. I'll click on schedule settings, and I'll turn this off so it's no longer recording all the time. I'll hit apply. If we go back to overview, you can see it says not recording. Next, I want to go down to event management. I want to select backyard camera. I'll click enable alarm recording. And then I'll click start recording when motion is detected by camera. And then I'll hit apply. You can also apply this to all cameras. So if we look back on uh, the overview, you could see that this is outside and it's snowy right now. I don't want to walk through that. So I've already set one up on my garage camera. I'll switch to the QVR client. And I have my two cameras on here. I'll click on garage. Well, I need to hit playback. I'll click the arrow for that first. I'll click on garage or double click on it. If you see down here, there's the little blue. I'm at the bottom of the screen. There's a little blue spot here and that is where it was doing continuous recording and the red is where it did motion recording. So after I set this one up, I went out and triggered the camera. If I land on that and I'll hit play over here on the right. Okay, so I opened the door, I triggered the camera. I'm out here, I'm spray painting something, that's why I opened the door. And it recorded the triggered recording. So I can export this. This happened around 1.52. So I'll click the little export icon. I'll go here, I'll say 1.30 p.m. And I'll just say 2 p.m. And it says recording type, all recordings, that should work. I'll hit export to. I'll choose my download folder, I'll hit save. Okay, that finished exporting, that took quite a while. Let's see what the file looks like. Okay, it's just a regular video file. I'm not sure why that took so long, but it did work. So, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.